<laughs> Do you love it? It's not a wig. Doesn't it look like a wig though? It's like so perfect, it like looks like a wig. I feel like a geisha in a wig, but it's not, guys. Seriously, I went bold and I went for it. Can you see the back? I, look how sassy. Um, I really love it. I knew that I was, the thing is about the long hair. Ooh, hold on. Yes, I'm getting my nails done tonight. Seven o'clock. Oh, I'm so overdue. I love this song. Um, I'm also obviously well in need of going tanning, I might add. So there's that. Um, but anyway, you guys, with the, uh, the hair the way it was, by the way, cheers. Having some cafe crema. Um, but anyway, so my hair was all the way down to the middle of my back and it was down here. And the thing is, literally, every day, there gets a point with long hair where it's just long hair. It's not doing anything and it doesn't even flatter you. And of course, okay, there's men and women. Men are always gonna say, get your hair long because it's the caveman thing, okay? Um, they're never gonna tell you to go shorter and sassy, but you sometimes you need a style. And that's the thing is, I felt like here I am, I have this great new fantastic job and I'm, I just bought some new suits and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like feeling great and then my hair is like on my last nerve. I'm sitting in, in meetings last week and my hair's stuck on the back of the chair so I'm like kind of always like pulling it out. And then when I go to put my purse on my shoulder, all of the hair was getting caught in it so every time I get in and out of the car I'm like and I'm pulling it out, it's getting caught and there's big long hairs all over the place. And it just, I found myself like looking and then with the, when you color your hair, you guys, I'd never colored my hair before. So this was like the first year that I did the highlights and I loved it for a while and I'll probably, maybe in the summers, we'll go back to the lighter. But it was starting to get like that fuzzy feeling like right now. I don't know if you can just tell how healthy and soft and touchable my hair is. You wanna to touch it, don't you? My hair, that is. This is a rated G, no, rated. PG-13 vlog. Once in a while we veer off a little bit when I'm having one of those days. I'm talking about Gerard Butler, who I might add, I just saw a picture of him. What is with that guy? You know who he reminds me of? He's like the male Janet Jackson. He gets uber buff for these roles and he looks fabulous and then he turns into like, I don't want to say Pillsbury Doughboy, but kind of like not as manalicious as normal. I, I don't like that. I would rather slow and steady get fit and stay there, um, you know, maybe, like I said, I've come to the conclusion I'm never going to be, I'm not going to compete and I'm never going to be in, at 4% or 8% body fat. I'm over that. But like, I'd rather stay slow and steady than to get really amazing where everyone's like, and then you gain 15 pounds and then you go back and then you go back. I mean, I just, that's not my gig. Hold on. Oh, I haven't had this in a while. It's quite good. And this is my, oh, I hate pointing to my nails when my nails are not done. I was so overdue, um, and I don't get them done until late tonight, like 7 o'clock. Um, but they were all popping, because I need a new set, obviously, so I just took them off. Look at my hands. They look like man hands when I don't have nails. So anyway, there's that. Um, workouts are going great. Um, yesterday I did, uh, what did I do? Oh, I did Insanity, like I told you. Um, and it's been... Gosh, you guys, it's been a good probably six weeks since I've done steady insanity every day. When you get out of that habit and then you go back, it's amazing how much your cardio capacity is different. I mean, I just, it's funny. When I first started doing insanity, he'll do 30 second breaks in between each interval, right? So you have 30 seconds. And in the beginning, I would go through the 30 seconds and then I'd rewind it like 15 seconds and give myself that extra push. Then when I had done it for a month, I didn't need to rewind it, so I was fine. Well, guess what? Yesterday, I was good friends with the rewind button. Just saying. So, there's that. And also, by the way, this is what the hair looks like when I um, get out of bed. So I slept on this. This is not, I can even make it more like, you know, bouncy and stuff. So, just letting you know. Um, what else? I'm going to be sharing. A lot of you guys had asked about the knife that my friend, you know, these are the knives that Guy Fieri uses. <laughs> Don't I look dangerous when I do that? I look like I should be on a murderous movie, like, yeah! Um, but look, this knife is very, and it's heavy, like I told you. He also gave me this um, universal edge guard, which is nice to keep your, um, 
knives in proper condition when they're in the drawer. But I will be using this this week. Probably good that I have the cap on it right now, huh? Um, to uh, prepare some fun, fantastic holiday dishes. What are you guys making? I, like I told you, I'm, I'm eating what I want on Thanksgiving. I'm not gonna pig out because I hate, hate, hate feeling full. You guys get that in your head. Like feeling full is not a good idea. Feeling satisfied is a good thing. Keeping it J, people. Um, but um, I don't want to feel full, so I'm gonna let myself have what I want, but in reasonable portions. Some people choose a different approach. Some people, and I respect that, um, they're going into Thanksgiving and they're like, you know what, I'm going to have green beans and turkey. More power to you, enjoy that. It's once a year, people, seriously. I'm having stuffing, and I'm having mashed potatoes, and I'm having copious amounts of wine. And then, <laughs> lots of dessert. No, not lots of dessert. <sighs> one piece. Of which one? That's the, that's the point. Because we're having pumpkin pie, which I like cold. Um, that's the only time of year I eat pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Um, I'm not really one for pecan pie. It tastes good, but it's too sweet for me. Um, but I think that I'm going to be bringing one of those carrot cakes from Costco. Holy cow, people. If you haven't bought desserts at Costco or Sam's, that's the way you want to impress people. You have a party to go to and you need to bring a dessert, go to Costco or Sam's. Their cakes are to die for. That's all I'm going to say. Not like I've had a lot of them. <laughs> Clearly I have. <gasps> anyway, I feel like I'm drinking the cup out of this side because I feel like I should be sharing the Sundance with you. Like, I hate that it's plain on the other side. That's just not right. This is from when I went to Sundance, um, which is absolutely one of my favorite places in this country. I would move to Park City, Utah in a heartbeat. Um, it's absolutely just stunning out there. Park City or um, Seattle. But then again, I was just talking to Leah at my new job, and she said she used to live in Seattle, and it really does rain all the time. So I don't think I could deal with that. So. Anyway, got to run. Busy day today. Mr. Flo with the new name. I'm sorry, you cannot see, but I did work back and biceps yesterday after um, Insanity, so um, it was all good. And today, what's today going to be? Uh, probably shoulders, and uh, today's probably going to be more weights. Um, shoulders and I'll do kind of a circuit thing. So I really haven't even decided yet. So just have to tell you about it tomorrow. But you guys have a great day. Do not write this week off. Let's not write this week off. Um, work out during the week and then enjoy yourself on Thanksgiving. Don't stuff yourself, but enjoy yourself. You know, don't go, I, I just, that's just my opinion. I think it's like, it's just, it's crazy to go into an event like this and not an event, you know, like a, a holiday and be sitting there, I can't have this. It's just, for me, that's just the thing that I've realized is crazy dieting is what leads to that bad binge mindset for so many of us. Some people are good at managing it. I am not. If, if you, if I go psycho with my diet, I will fantasize about Krispy Kremes 24 seven. When I let myself kind of have what I want and have a muffin or a piece of bread, um, I'm okay and I eat less for the most part, you know, there's always that certain time of the month that I tend to want to use things like this, but, oh, <laughs> but, um, anyway, you guys be good. We're going to talk more cooking later in the week. I'm going to be making my white chocolate cherry macadamia nut chunkies to die for. Would you like me to send some to you? Just cost a little bit with shipping. Um, they are to die for. I'll share the recipe with you because if you want to impress people, that's what you need. So you guys have a great day. Make it count this week. I want you to tell me in the comments what your favorite side dish is, okay? Because I don't even eat turkey on turkey day. I eat leftovers after that. And then tell me how much you love my hair. And uh, that's it, April, aren't you glad that I did this? I don't think anybody told me not to do it. Of course, just a couple guys were like, don't cut it short. Get over it. I'm just, it's the whole caveman thing. So anyway, have a great day. Ah! And that's it. See how bouncy it is when I bounce like that? Mm. Okay, kick butt today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's not a wig.